I'm Anna. And we are Basic Stitches. And this is a podcast about knitting. Every week. So if you've ever watched us before, all 11 of you last episode, <laughs> uh, thank you. We really appreciate it. Can't believe anyone watches this. Even 11 of you. And if this is your first episode, hey, thanks for checking it out. Um, so we don't, we don't have a ton of content this week. We've been you know, busy with our non-knitting related lives, unfortunately. Um, so we've got, I have two FOs this week though. Do you want me to do mine first? Go ahead. Okay. All right. So does an FO, here's an FO question for you. Does an FO count if you have not woven in your ends? I think so. We say yes. I mean, I kind of want as an F no, and I haven't even turned it together yet. Well, in that case, if we're considering ends not woven in, so qualifies. Um, I finally did this guy. This is my three color cashmere shawl by Locatelli containing absolutely zero cashmere. Um, but it is done. I was working on this Pico bind off when we uh, recorded last time and it is done. Um, so I'm talking too much about it because I talked about it at length last week. Mm -hmm. um, here are my embarrassing dangling ends. There they are. Um, but it's knit out of my lobby anime yarn that my friend Richie brought me back from a trip to Paris last year. Um, the darker gray is Sunshine Dye Works, which is our yarn. And then the orange is uh, La, it's La Jolla. Um, so it didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to take me. Um, I knit on it for less than a month. Um, and with other things going on. So, um, that being said, I knit a dog last week in three days. Um, so my friend Kelly had a baby shower on Saturday night and during the week I was like sewing the buttons on the baby dress that I had knit for her. I knit, um, I think I showed it on the, on the first pod that we, when we were back from our extended vacation. Um, I can't remember what the dress is called, but it's, um, the knitting expat. Mm -hmm. It's one of her dresses. What is it called? I don't know. But I, um, I knit that for my friend Kelly's incoming baby. Incoming? Upcoming? I don't know. She's having a baby. Um, and while I was, like, doing the finishing, which, of course, I finished that dress, like, three months ago. I didn't put buttons on it until two days before the party. Um, so while I was doing that, I realized, like, oh... Are people going to have things for her older daughter, who's four? Mm -hmm. And um, so I called my mom, and I was like, do you think people are going to get things for Sasha? And she was like, yes, I do. And I was like, okay. Well, I still think I'm going to knit this dog. So the pattern is called Noodles the Chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. Noodles. And let me tell you, he looked like a noodles. Um, also, here's my idea. I was like, oh, I have yarn. I have the needles already. Like, I knit with some stash yarn. Mm -hmm. um, it's Vanish Choice and like, some, like, mottled purple and white. And it was, I don't know, probably more than half a stain, and the dog uh, used all of it. I had, like, less than, I don't know, I might have, like, 15 yards left mm -hmm. when it was done, and I tossed him because I'm not saving. I'm not saving things in stash that are not wool anymore. Um, or wool blends, or non-acrylic blends, at least. That's the new rule. Um, so anyway, I, um, I knit this, I cranked out this whole dog in two nights, really, and I could have done it sooner, except when I got to about the halfway point and it said, stuff the body now. Of course I didn't read the pattern for it to finish before it started. <laughs> and so I hadn't gone shopping yet for stuffing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then when I went shopping for stuffing, I was going to do like embroidery for his nose and his eyes. But when I went shopping for stuffing, they had like doll parts. So I bought like a little snap on like safety nose and eyes. Um, so more noodles are coming because I have two more sets of. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously I have to make them again. Um, but there are pictures of him on my Ravelry. I didn't have him very long. Um, I don't have him now. He has already gone to his new home. And so when um, Kelly opened the bag, she like called Sasha over and uh, gave it to her. And she said, this is for you. And Kelly says, what are you going to name him? And Sasha goes, Lovey. <laughs> <laughs> she immediately put him down and didn't go back. <laughs> so, um, 
um, I'll have to inquire as to how his life is going mm -hmm. um, now that he's gone home. But so I need a dog, and um, I also last week finished my Pearl Soho Tulip tank top, mm -hmm. um, which is real hard to show on the podcast. Um, so next week I will wear it, but the reason I am not currently wearing it is because I wanted to show the back. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to have to get up and try to get my lower back in the camera. Yeah. Um, so, so stoked. It's my first garment of 2018. Um, last year I need a sweater. So I'm hoping two to three garments this year I want to get. Um, this tank top, I'm knitting another tank top, swatching. And then I want to do the um, Boylan Network's uh, Tanya. The, it's like a t-shirt top with the lace bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and then I wanted a sweater. So we'll see if we get all that in 2018. We're not quite halfway yet. I'm, not, I'm at one. So yeah. we'll see. Um, I do have for here a ball of the, an extra ball of yarn left over. I thought that I was going to need four. I only needed three. Um, I actually didn't need all of the third one either. Um, so I've got a little yarn left. I have no idea what I'll do with this. This will probably get de stashed eventually, but I'll hold it yeah. for a while. Um, but it is Knit Picks Lindy Chain in Serrano. Um, it's got some little... It's got some little moments where you can, like, there's a little bit of thread hanging out mm -hmm. from imperfect stitches. But for the most part, I'm super stoked with the way that came out, and I can't wait to wear it. What do you have in the way of finished objects this week? I have a single half. Oh, I love it. A single rolled rim red beanie. Oh, it's so cute. I think it looks pretty cute. It's very precise looking. I made sure that the pearls would line up with the pearls. Yeah! Um, which took some configuring on my part, but eventually. Is this sort of a pattern of your own design? Yeah, I just wanted to do one with a rolled up brim, and then I was like, well, I can try something like this for the top, and that's what I did. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And then are you knitting on anything else these days? No. I that have, was no, I've been in a rut. I haven't been able to find a pattern to match any of the yarns that I have that I want to work on. Oh, knitting mojo is low. Yeah. My knitting mojo is out of control right now. Um, well, maybe when we get in the, uh, well, towards the end of this, we'll talk a little bit more about Sunshine Diaries. Um, but I'm going to, um, everything online is everything's in the shop online now mm -hmm. and maybe if there's a pattern that you have in mind and you need something it can come to you mm -hmm. um with sarah next weekend with this weekend um so as far as whips i have three one um one's a one's a pre-whip a baby whip it's uh in early stages of swatching but um I am finally working on my Kalara shawl, mm -hmm. and I'm obsessed. And this is caught under something over there. Okay. Um, look at that. I can't. Um, I'm so stoked about the way this is coming out, and it's something that I've had in mind for a while. We've been talking about it on the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, the color is called Just To Say, and it is Dreaming Color. Oh, that looks real backwards. Um, and the, uh, the base is called Jilly, it's singles, and that's the purple, that's this guy. And then this one is Color Crave Fiber, and I brought the ball band over here, but I lost it. Um, so I don't know what this colorway name is, but I'll put it in the show notes, because my ball band is under something somewhere. Um, but this was a New Jersey travel purchase. So this is from Chelsea's Yarns. 
in Red Bank, New Jersey, and this is from LYS Day from She Girls here. So um, that's coming along. I'm um, less than a third of the way mm -hmm. done, but I think maybe another week on this, two weeks, and that'll be done. Um, and then my last one, I am swatching for another tank top. Um, this one has a name, which I will read from my pattern, which is over here. It's the Summer Lace Tank by Little Theorem. And I got it on Ravelry. And so far, there's not a ton to it. Um, so that, uh, this is Knit Picks Shadow Heather, or Knit Picks Shadow on the Color Raise Opal Heather. Um, I've never caked lace weight yarn or done anything with lace weight yarn before. First of all, the cake is so tiny. Like, look at it by comparison. This is not even a full cake anymore. I'm like, look at the mm -hmm. size difference. Oh, maybe I should do that. There you go. It's like a baby uh, cake. What's that? It's like a baby cake. It is. It's like a little penny four. I've been watching a lot of Great British Bake Off. It's a pretty four. Um, <laughs> but, um, so that's coming along. I'm hoping that I'm going to get gauge on the first try because don't we always hope that we're going to get gauge on the first try. Um, but it's really, the pattern is kind of weird. It calls for two different needle sizes and it's just, you passed on basically and knit a couple of rounds with really, really, really small needles. And then you jump up to sixes, which are big for waist weight yarn. Yeah. Um, and then you don't switch back. And so like I read the pattern a whole bunch of times today looking for the switch back because I was like, but honestly, it is a relief to know that I won't be knitting a full body on um, soft size needles and lace weight yarn. Mm -hmm. That's that's good news. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can get that swatch done in the next couple days and get it um, up and running for next Monday, Tuesday, something like that. Um, I was, getting a ton of knitting done. Um, things were really, really quiet at work and no one was bothered by the knitting, but um, things are a little busier and, you know, trying to actually work at work. What? What is that? Um, <laughs> so, slowing down on the progress, for sure. I'm gonna see a lot more long, languishing whips for me. Um, and then the other thing that I have going on is another kind of long, standing whip. Oh, that was a secret surprise that you just flip flashed in front of the camera. Didn't even notice. Uh, well, I'm, I'll show it to you in a minute. So these are Shane's second pair of deadlifting socks. And um, I'm further than I was last time I showed them, I had just got heels in. So I've got another couple inches done. And if he was a normal man, mm -hmm. I would be real close to putting in cuffs. But he's not, um, so I have like actually kind of a lot more knitting uh, left to do on these. But I'm having a good time with the um, colorway, and that ball band is around here somewhere as well, but I don't know where it is. Um, but it's Carlton Yarns in that Emerald City colorway on their sock base. Um, it's a little rougher than other commercial sock yarns, so I don't think I will buy it again, but coming out coming out good and once I, I think that once I block those they'll soften a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um that's what I have as far as um whips. But I realized when I brought that out that I have sort of an FO um that isn't knitting that I do want to show you. I have actually some other I have a couple surprises for you this week. Um some little goodies. Where did I put I might have to go uh get one of them in a minute. But look what I made. Ooh. It's a project bag. Yeah. Um, it's not perfect. I did not box the bottom. When I, as I keep going, I will. Mm -hmm. um, but this was like my prototype version. And when I first started using it, the drawstring was like not pulling straight. It was pulling like real lopsided. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I won't make any more because I don't have this figured out. But as I used it, it's worked itself out. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely more of these upcoming. 
I have our whole fabric stash from yeah. our um, Disney ears adventure that we were doing. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is um, sew bags for you and I to have and for Sarah to have, yeah. especially because you've bought some of the fabric. Mm -hmm. um, and so this was my adventure. I was thinking when I first put this color combo together, I was like, oh, this is it. This, I'll, just, I'll just make a bag for Anna, no problem. Mm -hmm. And then as I kept working on it, I was like, oh, no, this is the test version. <laughs> Um, so, um, and this is from a, uh, free demo online and I'll put the, um, I'll put that in the show notes too, but it's a free thing and obviously I didn't do that good of a job sewing it because, oh no, that's where I ripped the seam out. This is, in one of the places I took it out on purpose so I could turn it inside out, um, but not, not both of them. So it has two big holes in the lining for reasons. I don't know. It happens. It happens. But yeah, so it's a really cool um, concept. Like the way that they come together is cool. It's like making a pillowcase with a string in it basically. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just like turn half the pillowcase and tuck it inside. Um, but yeah, so I want to box the bottom so it'll stand up on its own. And I've been carrying my socks back and forth to work in there so that I can get some on my lunch break. Um, but yeah, so bags coming. Oh. Oh. How even? How even? We'll never know. No. But you know, nothing's perfect on the first try. Plus, it's easy enough to put that back in, but how did I do that? Um, because it's still tied in a knot, so like, really, how did I do that? But anyway, um, I have a couple of, um, oh, let me go, let me grab my other thing, okay. which is not, well, let's talk about acquisitions real quick. Okay. Um, so I talked last time about going yarn shopping with my stepmom Eve. Um, so she is maybe one of the most knitworthy people in my life. Um, she really appreciates, like, the work and the time and her family has knit, um, like, her family knit for her daughters, they made baby sweaters and really cool stuff, um, but nobody's really ever knit for her, especially now since she's been an adult. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I really want to knit something for you, and there are a couple of yarn stores here that, that I hadn't been to before, up um, closer to where she lives, she lives north of me. Um, and so uh, we, last Saturday, went on a yarn adventure. We were in torrential rain, like, had to pull off the highway rain. Um, so we're all trying to have this big adventure. It had its moments. It was fraught with, with challenges, but we had a good time. Um, and I got two skeins of, um, oh, yeah, it's Earth Harvest Fingering Naturally Dyed Ultra Fine Superwash Merino. Um, and I did not read this. Each skein plants a tree in Africa, which prevents soil degradation and provides food. So that's cool. And it's this beautiful gray. I was wondering if the colorway name was on here. Oh, the color is mint. Oh, your photo just went away. Oh, it's back. My iPad wants me to verify my login. So the colorway for this is mint, which I think means it's dyed with mint leaves. Um, I'm not allergic to it, though. I haven't smelled it. Um... And so I got two skeins of this, which is uh, like 800, and each one is like 440 or 4 and change. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 435 actually on here. And they were pretty good um, price-wise. So I have like 860 there, and she, um, she and I were thinking that it was going to be a shawl. So I was like, are we going crescent shape or are we going triangle? And while we were in the yarn shop, she tried on some samples. Mm -hmm. And there was a woman who was in there just knitting, and she just like, I don't work here, I don't work here. But she had Eve try on a shawl that she has knit, or a wrap that she's knit, rather. So for me, the difference between a shawl and a wrap is shape. And this is like, what it's like a total rectangle, yeah. like a pattern kind of shape. Um, so for me, it's a wrap, and the pattern is called plain. Um, mm -hmm. So that's linked in the show notes. So it's like a lace wrap. Um, and they do a shawl, for, or like a, I think they do a shawl and a scarf version. And so the scarf version is like very short, um, and the wrap version is big. So I am going to knit 
um, that wrap in this beautiful gray for her sometime late summer mm -hmm. um, so that she has it. I want her to have it to go back to school um, yeah. in the fall. Not that she doesn't work all summer, but like as a new school year, new thing, kind mm -hmm. of present. Um, she insisted on paying for her own yarn, though, which in some ways defeats the purpose, but, you know, yeah. it's hard to talk a mom out of doing something. So, um, so plus it really helps me get a sense of, like, what she likes. So I'm going to order some yarn with some Selena in it and dye up a little, um, like, three-skein fade and do, um, not find your fade, but the other one. Not what the fade, the little one that she did. Found your fade? No. There's one. Yeah. I'll link it. There's one that's smaller. So I'm going to do like a three gray gradient fade with some Selena for her. Because I think that's also like something that will be wearable. Mm -hmm. Plus, she's she's a fancy lady. She likes some sparkle and some bling. What are you going to do? Um... So that's what I have as far as, oh no, I got one more in acquisitions. Um, I bought a Barocco Comfort sock in another beautiful blue and green stripe for yet another pair of deadlifting socks for Shane down, down the road. Mm -hmm. Down the road. Stashing some self-striping sock hair. Um, I have one other thing you can show. I bought one skein of Chunky to dye, mm -hmm. um, so this is Sunshine Dye Works, and to me it looks like the most beautiful spaghetti, like pasta with sauce. <laughs> um, so you may, we may be seeing some Chunky yarn mm -hmm. on in the future, maybe in the winter, but um, not yet. So my mom um, has seen stitch markers because she has recently joined the world of knitting internet and she was like oh I have like unlimited access to crystal um, and costume jewelry beads. I could make those so she ordered on Amazon um, like a hundred little lobster claw, mm -hmm. claw clips and like a hundred earring backs mm -hmm. um, the ones that close and has been making um progress keepers, which she would like to include in outgoing orders for our yarn. Mm. So when people order online for Sunshine Dye Works, she wants us to throw in one of these. Oh. It's so cute. Oh, it's so and they vary. So I think some will put in the shop as pay for uh, mm -hmm. one day later. I don't know if that's in focus. But these are called cake frosting beads. And then she's got some other little guys. So if you order from Sunshine Dye Works, who knows what you're going to get. Yeah. I mean, you get your order. You will. But you might get some other stuff, too. Surprise. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the news that I have in, in um, shop stuff too. We're gonna open our online shop for the first time on um, Friday tomorrow tomorrow morning. So it'll be old news by the time you guys see this. Mm -hmm. But uh, the website is sunshine dye works sunshine dye dot works slash shop. Um, so if you are seeing this, go check it out. See if there's anything still in there, and um, if there isn't now. There's a form you can fill out so you will be notified later when there is. Sounds good. All right, anything else you want to talk about? No, I think that's it. All right, look out in the future for a guest spot by my mom who wants to come on and talk about the sweater she knit for boyfriends in the 80s. So that'll be a rollicking good time. Don't they say that you shouldn't knit your boyfriend a sweater? They do say that you shouldn't knit your boyfriend a sweater because um, moments after finishing it, your relationship will end. Mm -hmm. The curse. Yeah. Or you never finish it, you break up before you finish it. Yeah, that's another thing. Exactly, you know what the legend is, maybe that's it. But I did actually, speaking of which, listen to the book, The Curse of the Boyfriend Sweater, mm -hmm. which 
I thought was going to be a collection of essays that people wrote about this phenomenon happening to them, but it was actually like the tale of one specific writer and like her journey through knitting and how she uses knitting to like um, manage her mental health and like general sanity. And it was so, so good. It was like hearing myself talk. Mm -hmm. um, I listened to the audiobook for it while I was in New Jersey. Amazing. So that book is coming to you, by the way. Okay. Um, I bought the hard copy for my mom and had it shipped to her house um, so that she could read it. And then when she finishes it, she wants I'm going to give it to you. Books. All right. That's the end of our podcast. Yep. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. You can find me on uh, Ravelry as Starly Wag and on Instagram as Sunshine Day Works. I'm on Ravelry as La Anana and on Instagram as Elamingo Nits. All right. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye.